for a minute and let's talk about your love Cause once guys in the mix ain't no way we ever split up We never give it up, even if the road gets tough Tapping away at Kingdom Harris Podcast, we got that game of fake hope and love Tune in for a minute and let's talk about your love Cause once guys in the mix ain't no way we ever split up Never giving up even if the road gets tough Just tapping away at Kingdom Harris Podcast We got that game of faith, hope, and love What's up, what's up, what's up? You're now tuned in to Kingdom, Kingdom Marriage Podcast. Podcast Oh, I gotta take you to the studio I gotta take you to the studio So y'all already know, last time we were here, we spoke on Can someone tell me? Got that? Ding, 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 ding. Yes, if you said it, two shall, shall become, become one. one. Now, if you did not know what we talk about, I think you should go back and go watch back, that back, video back. when you finish with this one. But today, today's topic, we're going to speak on what? The power, power of, of unity. unity. Yes, the power of unity. So, you know, I have to come in with my little scripture. It's Bible time. <laughs> so, Ecclesiastes 4 and 9 says... Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. When spouse join together Mm -hmm. as a force, amazing things happen. Oh, wonderful things happen. Maybe the confusion or the trouble in the marriage is because there's no oneness, there's no unity. It's a powerful thing. So beautiful. When unity happens, we can get things done. Yeah. Like things get done. done, done. Yeah. When you can be on such of a one accord. I know sometimes you will have like maybe some disagreement, mm-hmm. but some drop on me whilst I was in the bathroom doing my makeup. Where there is unity, even in disagreement, mm. there is agreement. Yes, sir. That's the power in unity. Uh, Even in disagreement, I'm like, Woo, where did that come from? That drop on me as we was preparing. Even in disagreement, there is agreement because of the unity. Mm. Listen. You want to break that down? What you, what you I, get from I, that? What, what, what I get from that is, it's like, listen, we already know what the vision is. We already know what we came to do. So let's get past this argument and mm-hmm. let's get back on track. Let's do what we need to do. Okay, I understand Sad. that. You agree in that you... I, 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 I may not agree with the way you Please. went about that, but let's get focused back on the goals. Let's yeah. See, when you have goals, when you have vision, you know what to do. The, the Bible says what? Where there is no vision, the people perish. Mm-hmm. So you could take that into your marriage. Where there is no vision, your marriage... Perish. You're not able to have the marriage that you were actually designed to have or or the thing that God has actually designed marriage to be. And this is why even when your spouse has this brand new idea, let's just say your spouse has this brand new idea or started a business mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, I didn't do that. I don't want to do that. Like, like you just showing, you're not even support. You're not even trying mm-hmm. to support. Like, When you show your support, the lack of your support can be the reason why the thing didn't work. Wow. Wow. The lack of, you're so in your feelings because you don't want to, you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Instead of you say, you know what, let's try this. Yeah. You try everything I, I, I want to do. The least I can do is try with you. Yeah. That may be the very thing that works because all of us are working to a particular goal. Goals. We're working to a particular goal to get a certain amount of finances. Yeah. So I'm starting this business to try make money. You may not think this is able to make money. Yeah. But the but least you could do is jump on board jump with on me. Board. Let's try Even it. With a little idea you have, mm. just a little idea, or you might have the big brain box like your spouse might. He have the bigger vision, but just with you being on one accord, one accord. in unity, 
you begin to help the thing come to life. That's I, the power in unity. unity. Amazing things happen when you begin to come on one accord. When you are on one accord, you begin to see things move much more smoother. If you're not on one accord, mm. it's going to be like a roller coaster. It's going to be up and down. You here, you there. You never stay at your, the peak. You never, the peak. you never thrive at the high area. You keep coming back down. You keep coming back down. Every yeah. time you get back up because there is no unity, the next partner draws you back down. Mm. And then the next partner goes up and the next part. But when you... Uplift each other. Uplift each other. Y'all stay up there and thrive. Together. In a succeeding together. area. You will accomplish so much together. Like you said, your spouse might have an idea. You're, you're not too much feeling that idea. But because of the level of connection and the, the oneness between you guys, you mm -hmm. say, well, hey, I mean, let, okay, okay. Let's, let's, try it let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let me give it a try. Another take on this whole unity thing, this whole oneness thing. Maybe the unity part is not working because you're married, but you like to do stuff alone. Mm. And that's a problem. That's, that's a problem because then we spoke on the two shall become, become one. one. Yeah. So you're yeah. no longer alone. You're no longer alone. She is a part of your one. He is a, a part, part of your one. Part. If you can't get in your groove around your spouse, so you need to change that's, something. that's a big problem. Yeah. Like if you can't be in your groove and you hit the pocket, like for me, Robin, if I can't really, let's just say I break out, well, I got a mic. <laughs> <laughs> Put on some headphones, throw on a beat, and I get in my zone. And if I can't stay in that zone or I can't create the zone while you're here, Somebody. then that's... That's a problem. That means yeah. you don't never need to be up. Yeah, some men, right? We need to, you, you would have to look into what's going on in your marriage. Yeah. yeah. What we're trying to get you to understand is to build a place where, listen, I am my best self when I'm with her. Yeah. I am my best self when I'm with him because and we are one. that's how it one. should be. Right. It should be like that when... Like, you should enjoy being around your spouse. You should love coming home just to see your spouse. Like, not saying, oh, I stay in hotel. Tell a woman, must he go. I, I don't stay till she goes sleep. Like, it, sh it should not. It, you have some checking out to do. I'm telling you. If you me. find yourself at that place where you can't stand going to your home, something is wrong. Is she a piece or is she a pain? <laughs> Is he your piece or is he your pain? He was you get a new apartment or a new house. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Seriously, but that means y'all have some work to do and it have to be done together. Speaking of together. Speaking of together. And a, so, that means the sauce. Not not the sauce, but Someone is missing. Is God in the midst? That's that's where I was hidden. Oh, if I, that's if where I was God, hidden. Is God in the midst of that marriage, that unity, mm -hmm. that oneness? Is He there? Okay, let me paint this picture. What we wrote down: a rope made of two strands is strong. Two strands, husband, wife. But a rope that is made of three strands mm. is virtually unbreakable. That's spouse, husband, wife, and God. As you and your spouse invite God into the center of your relationship, you create a bond that is fortified by his presence. Yep, yep. With God as the third strand, your unity becomes unshakable. unshakable. And together, you can conquer any obstacle, any obstacle that comes your way. The power that's the, that's, in unity. That's how powerful. With God. That's powerful. You hear what he said? It becomes unshakable together. Mm. You can conquer any obstacles. Any obstacle. That comes your way because it will come. You will face challenges. 
you will have the enemy fighting against you in your marriage, yeah. But when you have God as the third strand in your marriage, you will conquer. You will overcome it. That's the power mm, something hit me. in unity. Something hit me. Most people like to say, oh, our marriage, I'm missing love, our marriage. I'm missing the sex part, our marriage. I'm missing the, 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 the communication, our marriage is missing something. I don't know what our marriage is. Your marriage is missing God. If you don't have him, <laughs> you need him in your marriage. I might as well tell you. I could tell you that. Marriage without God makes no sense. Marriage without God, you might as well shock up. Yeah. My- <laughs> really? I mean, I know I sound old with that, right? <laughs> but you might as well shock up. You might as well still be My- girlfriend and boyfriend. Ma- marriage without God, you might as well be girlfriend and boyfriend. Like, it, this, it, what? That's what God ordains marriages. Come on. You have thousands of people, millions of people on this earth that are just breathing and going along their day. That are that are um, actively moving out of their purpose, but to have a marriage with God is in it is like you're actually actively working in your purpose. Ooh. So, listen when I tell you, get God in your marriage. Some of y'all who 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 who. And I, I, I got to say it, baby. Some of y'all who freaky and be looking for a threesome, the third person is Jesus. Wow. Get, That's get, right there. Get, get, the, tre- get, yep, the, tre- yep. get the threesome then. Go oh ahead. God. Get God. Uh, what dropped on me too is maybe the unity is not there because the spouse is, uh, yeah, the spouse is still connected to their parents, father, mother. Mm. He said to leave Thy Don't father cling. and mother and cling to your wife and they shall become one flesh. There is in unity because you still connected. Not saying you have to diss your parents or diss whoever, but you have to leave that and now join in new and start something fresh with your spouse. Mm. Because now, if you just hearing what others is saying, then you cause there to be a division between you and your spouse. You cause there to be an opening where the third strand can't even wrap around y'all because mm-mm, mm-mm. you over there, over there and I over here. And you over so there. So the third strand trying to find out where's the connection. And I and I over here talking there, our business to someone who so there don't even no supposed to be in it. There isn't no connection because you connected still with someone else. Mm-hmm, 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 you connected mm-hmm. with someone else, so you can now have to cut that off. Break that off and connect with your spouse so that the third wheel can now wrap himself mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. around you. Tightly the third and secure. Can now wrap himself around you. It's tightly and secure. Listen, so what you're going to have to start doing is something I said the other day. You got to sweep your front door and close your back door. <laughs> Break that down. Sweep your front door. Keep, keep your front door clean. Sweep your front door and close your back door. Meaning, listen, make sure your house is in order. Wow. Make sure your house is in order. Make sure a front line is in order. Mm-hmm. But also, keep that back door locked. Don't let nothing get into that. Yeah. God said what? Let no man separate. Let no man. Let nothing separate. separate. Let nothing get in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If, if he is... If he's there, how could something get between? Yeah, if he's there. Unless you... Even though it tr- it will try, but it can't work. Can't get because there. Because it said already, no weapon that is formed will be able to prosper. So you will have those mm. weapons that will form against your marriages. You will all... But the power and unity, even power in prayer, a praying couple. You have the power to slay some demons... <laughs> 
You hey. have the power to. Hey, but they too busy praying for their own self. Like selfish. 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 Se selfish. Yeah, they selfish. Being selfish. Being selfish. See, the thing about it, the thing about this unity thing, the the, the thing about being unified with marriage, mm -hmm. is you have to learn to be your spouse's cheerleader. Oh. When the crowd is gone. My God. Don't just big them up in front of people it, or yeah. big them up That's for my husband. social That's media. My yeah. Don't just do the thing for, for the gram. Don't just do it for Facebook. Do it it's, even when the door is closed. When the door is closed, the crowd is gone, gone. the lights are off, chair lead. That's your spouse. Yeah. And the best, the best person to chair lead in front of is God. Yeah. God, please, I ask you. Continue to uplift my wife. I am proud of her. Yeah. Continue to do Pray great things. Husband. I told my wife the other day, as much people know me as as the Christian rapper, Najee Dunn, if God say, this is your season to hold Jason E. Bible, I'll be right there. <laughs> he said, I'll, I'll hold I'll up. I'll that Bible I'll tell that Bible. I'll, tell I'll that wipe Bible. your face and all. Just, <laughs> just go ahead. Your season is your season, girl. Go ahead. Yeah. Go and ahead. Your season, not your season is your season. Your season is my yeah. season. So I could care less. Yeah. yeah. I could care as long as God's will is being done. done. And we still have this. Yeah. Not and you on my side. It, yeah. I ain't. No, it, it don't. All of that. Oh, it's, not, it's just working out for him because sometimes that do happen. Mm. You begin, to, um, you will begin to get jealous of what is happening for your spouse. So much things are blowing up for No, but when you in unity, baby, what hap when you in unity, what happened for you happened for me. What celebrate for you? Celebration for me. Congratulations for you. Congratulations for me. When you cry, I cry because that's unity. We like we said in our last podcast, we feel of one another. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you all our birthday coming up. <laughs> Our birthday, we celebrate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but listen, listen, listen. So, like I said, you gotta find ways mm -hmm. to encourage and uplift Lift. each other, mm -hmm. man. You, you can't be fight. A lot of marriages aren't working, and a lot of your spouse are uh, like, like you're not being able to become successful because. You either fighting your spouse down or your spouse fighting you down. Yeah. Come on, man. It's enough. It's, it's enough is enough. Yeah. Unity yeah. time. It's yeah, time it's to time. be unified. It's and I was even thinking as I was walking today about Noah and the ark when God told him, call them two by two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Call everyone two by two. See, it's it's one person could you know mm -hmm. rule the town and. Run the town and tell us, like, deal with the town. But two people can rule a nation. Mm -hmm. God is calling marriages forward. But the, 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 the marriage that are unified. But the he's scripture says, when two or three are gathered, I am in the midst. I am in the midst. He's, he's, he's calling mm -hmm. marriages, unified marriages, marriages, a fortified front. Time to wake up. Time to come on the front line yep, and yep. be together. Yeah, oh, I want to say this too before this, this go off my mind. When you see you and your spouse begin to come more on one accord, you will begin to see God hand move great and mighty because you are now in sync. You are now on one accord. So now God can actually move and do what it is that he wants to do in your marriage. God is, God is calling for you to get it together, your marriage. He's calling for marriage, marriages, marriages. He placed here on this platform mm. just for you, just for your marriage. So we invite, we, we, we push you and we, we ask that you would just take it to a whole nother level. Turn it up. Take it up to, the, to a whole nother level. Engage more, even in prayer together like he said we we so selfish we pray by ourselves try let him pray for this morning and oh he if he can pray let him go pray but we don't we so selfish not just praying by ourselves we don't even pray for our other spouse oh, that's a different story Jeez. for the next day but 
unity in prayer. It is so beautiful. I, with me and my husband, we never used to do this. It's, it's something we're doing now, and I love it. We we pray more together. Mm-hmm. Mind you, I used to pray for him. He could tell you I pray for him in the room, but I would sometimes I say, "Baby, I don't even care if he don't if he watching TV." I say, "Come." I say, let's pray And together. I already know what time it is when it's like that. <laughs> I say, come, let's pray. And we would pray and and we would, and praying together, we would actually feel the presence of God and he mm. would begin to reveal stuff and speak in that very moment See. when we are together. Mm-hmm. It happens quick. Because it you know now we are, because... we are, we seeking this goal, the same goal. We mm-hmm. are praying mm-hmm. for the same thing, being on one on accord. accord. Yep. Anytime you are on one accord, oh, there's you, a move. There's a move. You get things done. Yeah, yeah. There is a move with See, one accord. There's a move in the natural, mm-hmm. and then there's a move in the spiritual. Yeah. Just how I never used to help getting the girls ready for school. No. And it used to, and that's that's the next thing because it will put a load on one spouse. I, when when you can't be on one accord, boy, it's like so much on that other not, part. Not even that. Uh, I, I, I haven't no, reached. I'm saying that. Yeah, I didn't even reach that part yet. I'm talking about I ain't helping and we late almost every time. I see where you're getting at. Come on, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we late almost every single time. And he ain't helping. And I ain't helping. But the second mm. I started to help... Unity, oneness, together. We was ahead of time. We was ahead. <laughs> That's so true. Things he telling to, the truth. Things start to work. He telling things the start truth. to move. Things start to happen. Yeah. Which used to take two hours, start taking Ten, ten, ten minutes. minutes. Wow. This is just <laughs> how God is working in this season. The thing that you've been praying alone for... <laughs> For years, the second you could hold on with your spouse. And y'all come on agreement. And y'all come on agreement on one accord. That would, that would start to move today. I mean. Start to shift today. Your phone start ringing, ringing. right now. Mm-hmm. Emails start coming through. Bomb. Contracts start coming in your name. Things, oh, things just start breaking and shaking and moving. Mm-hmm. And you wonder why. Because he was just waiting on this stopping. My God. That's all. So God is calling marriages to become one. unified, mm-hmm. become one. He's calling. He's calling. He's calling. He's calling. And I only have one question. Will you answer the call? Will you answer the call? Will you both answer, answer the, the call? call? What are y'all waiting on? It's ringing, ring, ring. That's all. Yeah. You can you can use this. I said it last time. You can use this right here, this message, this video. Use this. I know that this is God using this video, these two individuals, to tell you he's waiting on y'all to get on one accord. To get on, wow. Wow. To say, <laughs> he's waiting on. He's waiting. He's your, waiting. He's I, waiting. You know. You know. How I, go. I don't. I don't try to add nothing. Once the Holy Spirit speak, mm-hmm. he speaks. So I'm telling you, he's waiting. He's waiting. So please embrace yeah. the power of unity in marriages. Yes, embrace it. Choose to walk hand in hand. Together. Side by side. Together. Do it together. Do it together. Let's honor. Mm-hmm. Let's honor each other. Let's honor the sacred bond that God has placed with us. Please, 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 please. And watch. And watch your marriage be a testament of God's faithfulness and his grace. You watch that. Watch it happen. Yeah. He's just waiting. He's just, just waiting, waiting on you. Just waiting. He's just waiting on you. Anything else you want to say, babe? No. So if this video encouraged you, if you feel that 
this was speaking to you, you can let us know in the comments anything you would like to say. Um, if you have any questions or if you want would want um, us to maybe speak on an, a different topic, you can put that in the comments down below. That's all. I, I can't add and I can't take away, but that's all I wanted to say. So, listen, we'll see you next time. Right back here, Kingdom March, and don't forget to bring your spouse. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> see y'all later. Later.